Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Wanda Mosek and today I'm here to just update you all on all things pregnancy. So I hope you have tuned in, you get your little snack. And if you're new here, subscribe, get into it. We are just chatting, we are just talking. We are doing all the things. So first and foremost, I just want to say that I love y'all. Thank you for all of the support on all of the videos and all of that. Um, I hope you guys find just a peace in this channel. Um, if you are struggling to conceive, I am still praying for you. I'm sending you well wishes. Um, Lord, I just pray right now that you would just give them peace, comfort them, God, keep them, send them strength and give them a miracle, God, and give them peace about what it is that you're doing in their life. In Jesus name. Amen. I am really praying for you, okay? So I'm really praying for you, okay? Um, with that being said, I just wanted to update you all on what's been going on, okay? So since the time that I literally took that pregnancy test, a lot has happened. So the first things that happened, I was super tired. Um, if you know anything about pregnancy, it just takes a lot out of you. It feels like you're running 50 marathons in one day. That's how I felt. Um, I didn't know if it was twins at the time, so I was just like, you know, on the fence. Um, I didn't have any morning sickness, so that was really good. I had no morning sickness when I was actually in the first trimester. I think of the reason for that was because I was on some medication for IVF. So if you watch my journey so far, you know that I was on like a steroid shot. It was a handful of medication I showed y'all. Um, but the steroid pill in general, from what I read, it's tied into this other shot that I had to take called Clexane, which goes into your belly. It gives you uh, bruises and it's like a blood thinner, but then it's tied to another steroid that pretty much like um, weakens your immune system so that your immune system doesn't respond to the baby as if it's like an intruder and cause a miscarriage. So I had to take that for 12 weeks and I think that that symptom causes you to not have any like cravings because in my first pregnancy I took the same thing and I was googling like crazy because I was like yo I'm having twins I knew that I was having twins since like six weeks so I was like I'm having twins so why would I not have any symptoms fast forward to now um I didn't really have a lot of symptoms the only thing that was happening and it's I blame the steroid as well I was literally eating like a monster truck I was eating breakfast lunch dinner I needed big meals I couldn't be quenched okay my stomach was like a bottomless pit so I gained 10 pounds within the first three months well I would just count from let's just say from when I started IVF till the end of my first trimester because I was actually working out before IVF I had lost weight okay I gave it all back and it added some <laughs> um but luckily I'm actually a month into my second trimester I have gained zero pounds I did get sick I did lose craving I still lose craving you know what I'm craving right now a salad I want to eat fruit I want to drink water I want to do all the healthy things okay that is what this baby is giving me so I'm happy about that because I was very, very afraid of what was happening in the first trimester. Because when I say I would try to starve myself, I would try to be like, no, Wanda, don't eat that. I needed to, okay? <laughs> like, I was eating nasty stuff, y'all. Like, still from time to time, I'll order Taco Bell. But I was eating some nasty things. Like, I think I had Dairy Queen on the road. It still makes me nauseous. I had a burger. Ugh. I don't even eat burgers. I don't even eat burgers from fast food spots. So that was like alarming, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Y'all stay with me, okay? Um, so yeah, the whole first trimester though, I went through insurance drama. So I am an entrepreneur. This is the first time that me and my husband have both been entrepreneurs. And so throughout our entire marriage, he has had fire, tip-top, really amazing health insurance. We actually got our own health insurance with our business. And y'all, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Entrepreneurs, chime in below if you know what I'm talking about. But the health insurance drama was just weird. I could not, like I found a doctor and then the health insurance wouldn't cover like the hospital the doctor chose to deliver at. 
it was wild it was like some stuff that like does not make sense i was on twitter and this lady said something about like how she went to to an OBGYN to deliver her baby but because i think she went to the hospital to deliver her baby the OBGYN that was on call wasn't covered by her insurance the math ain't mathing, okay? That was like the type of stuff that was happening to me. And then when the people that I were calling, like they were on my insurance, um, they were like telling me they're gonna force me to go to a C-section again and I need to be comfortable with it before even signing up for my first appointment. It was strange. So we canceled that insurance. We found another insurance broker. We ended up finding a really good insurance for me and for the boys and for the whole family. And so that got squared away and I got to go back to my doctor. So the doctor that I used in Texas for my surgery to have my polyp removal, I ended up being able to go back to him. So I was very, very excited about that. I was like, yes, okay, perfect. So I got to go back to him. So, but that, all that drama did not taper out until 14 weeks pregnant. That was my first technical doctor appointment. But before that, I literally paid for like um, ultrasound. So I knew that my baby was fine. Um, I was also trying to find out if I had twins and I don't. I really wanted twins. Um, people are like, at least you don't. I'm like, don't say at least because I wanted all my babies, period. Okay. Um, but with having like, we had five embryos, only four made it to freeze. Um, out of that, honestly, the chances that all of the embryos were going to be like genetically normal was three out of five, honestly. So I expected that, but obviously if I had, if both of them had made it, it would have been great. Um, but I'm still happy with the one baby I have and it's been an entirely different pregnancy. I have so much more energy. Normally I just don't have energy at the end of the day. Um, but I've been working out y'all. I have been walking. Okay. My doctor was like, you can do anything that you feel comfortable doing. Like, don't think that anything you do can harm this pregnancy. So when he said that it literally lifted such a weight off me and I was like, okay, I tried to run that next day. It took me out. I was literally asleep the rest of the day. So I'm not gonna be running. <laughs> My first doctor's appointment, I loved the doctor. There's only three doctors that work in that office. And I'm so happy that like, I pretty much each doctor's appointment will go to a different one of the doctors so I could feel comfortable with all of them, which is totally different than when I was in California because when I was in California, I only went to one doctor every time. And then when I went into labor, that doctor was not on call and he didn't deliver me, okay? I'm still salty about this because he was like, if the baby's breech, I know how to bring them out vaginally. Like he was like 20 years, he was a black man. We had gotten so comfortable with him, just felt right. And then everything just went, <clears throat> this is my life in a nutshell. I just have a lot of similes and metaphors, okay? Um, <clears throat> was that a simile and a metaphor? I have no idea. But yeah, so I have peace about that. But, okay, then we had like a barbecue at our house. We had a bunch of friends over, people we love. And one of the girls, it was actually our first time at our house. I'm still getting to know her. She's an amazing person. Um, and she's pregnant at the same time as me. And so she had a C-section and she was telling me how she's choosing to go do a natural birth. And honestly, it was like freeing to hear her say that. And she gave me like all the context, for like her midwife, doula, all of that stuff. Um, and it just was like, oh, wow, like this is an option for me. So that's an option that I've been like playing with, toying with. I was like on the fence, like, okay, I'm doing a natural birth because then I won't have to worry about anybody taking care of the boys. Um, if I were to go into labor and like, I can just be at home, give birth, go to bed with the baby and like me and Lo will be at the house. And then like the doula and midwife will come check on us, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I don't need medicine. I don't know, but just having the idea that it's there was amazing. Another thing that came up that is a little concerning is that I have placenta previa. So basically that's when your placenta covers your um, cervix. And if it stays like that, then you cannot deliver vaginally at all. Um, the chances are higher if you've ever had multiples, if you ever had a C-section, um, if you did IVF. <laughs> and that's, those are like the top three that I really have. So that's all I remember. Um, but I have all the markers for it, but it's a 90% chance that by my 20 week appointment, it'll have moved up. And I honestly feel like it has because TMI, but if you have placenta previa, 
and you have sex. I don't know if I can say this at YouTube. And you have intercourse. Um, pretty much you bleed. I bled one time. That's how I found out about it. Because I was like, yo, I was praying. I was crying. I was like, Lord. Luckily, I had my Doppler. I heard the heartbeat. I was like, okay, I'm fine. But I did want to, I did ask the doctor about that. And he was saying like, you know, placenta previa causes bleeding while you have intercourse. And then ever since then, I haven't bled again. So I'm like, it had to have moved because one day it got real extreme over here. And I said, okay, I think I don't have placenta previa. Because if I did, that would have caused some bleed. <laughs> oh, hopefully y'all understand. I have the sense of humor of a, I don't know. It's just a funny sense of humor. That's all I have to say. Um, but anywho, on to the next. So yeah, that was like my only concern. I was a little worried about it, but you know what? God has brought me this far and he will not leave me. Um, <clears throat> in terms of like doing a C-section again, that is not on, really on my radar. And it was at first because the doctor gave me the 1% chance of uterine rupture. If you try for a vaginal, blah, blah, blah. But then the midwife that I talked to actually gave me the fact that like, the, the statistics on a c-section which doctors don't really tell you like doctors are trained to do surgery so that's why there's a lot of c-sections not every doctor will push for it but a lot of doctors will because honestly that's a more controlled um environment for them they can they're more experienced they know what to do um so it's no wonder that they push it um but for me it was like oh i've already done a c-section i made it through i'm fine blah blah, blah. so that just seemed easier for me but like i don't want to take the easy way out i want to do what my body was created to do, if it can do it. So I am going for a V-back. So leave positive experiences. Do not leave me anything negative. If you leave negative, I'm gonna be very upset at you um, because I don't want negativity. I wanna think positive thoughts. And obviously I'm realistic. I have statistics, I have doctors. They're gonna give me their advice, but positivity only. Uh, I will say that as a first time mom, I was much more stressed. I was much more like, yeah high stress i think i was much more stressed and now i'm just like so at peace i feel comfortable i feel confident i feel ready to take everything that is going to come my way um obviously i have days well I, in the, at least in the first trimester it, the first trimester was the hardest because you just want to make it through and now it's like okay god is in your hands you know it was always in his hands but it's really in your hands um, so I feel like I'm much more at peace. Um, the last, the things that I'm trying to figure out is like planning my um, baby shower. Also figuring out where this next baby's gonna sleep because I have my office. Lo has his office and we have the boys room. Um, so who's gonna give up their office? How are we gonna do that? Um, but then again, I did have the boys in my room for a whole year of their life. And I think this baby's definitely gonna be with me at least six months because these rooms in our house are like much more farther away from our room and the boys' room is actually the closest one. So I would not want the baby to be farther than the boys' room. So I'm like trying to just figure that out. Um, obviously these are like first world problems, um, but I know for now the baby will stay in our room and then we'll decide like maybe we'll move the boys' room. Maybe we'll keep the boys' room and just move the baby over here. Um, maybe to where Lowe's office is because there's like I definitely don't want anybody in this room the windows I don't know. I just it's not giving me Baby living in here Those are like small things that I'm trying to decide But other than that leave me questions down below on things you would like to know things that I may not have expounded on enough And I will do a part two if you need it. I'm also gonna just be updating you all um, after my next appointment at my next appointments in two weeks and I actually have anatomy scan and then I have what else do I have yeah just you know appointments here and there mm -hmm. doula doula appointment is Friday um I'm thinking about starting going to a chiropractor again going to pelvic floor so I can be like just 100% on the up and up um but other than that y'all I'm excited that you guys are able to just walk this journey with me so thank you thank you thank you subscribe Leave some video suggestions down below. Can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye.